You, uh, you tweeted the picture of the leg lamp last night. Is Christmas Story one of your, your top uh, Christmas movies? I think there's no question. That and Wonderful Life are the two best ones. Um, and uh, But I like the leg lamp. I think the leg lamp's a year-round item. And, uh, yeah, um, it's a, what is it? He calls it a great award or something like that. Anyway, yeah, no, I think everyone should have one. Is that just stuffed in a box until about December and... Your wife pulls it out, or no? She's got to be coaxed to pull it out. She doesn't like it as much as me and the kids do, and that needs to be up year-round, as far as I'm concerned. What do you like about the Christmas story? Why, why is it one of your? Ah, uh, it's just like everybody remembers something like that, and it's, it, it plus, uh, uh, it's more like when I was a kid, where uh, kids were running around everywhere. They weren't screwing around with machines the whole time, and there was always uh, uh, the kid in the stiff outfit and. Uh, uh, it's 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 just a great movie. I mean, it's I've, I've read the book too, um, which it's more of a a long short story. But um, uh, it's called um, In God We Trust. All others pay cash. Um, the uh, but no, it's it's a it's a great movie, and uh, you know most marathons you don't really look forward to, but that one's. Uh, uh, worth uh, making sure you get an episode in. We were kind of talking to Tay, and you, know, you guys didn't have any receivers on, on the all-conference teams. Is that just going to speak to the, I mean, you guys had a lot of production all around. Is that kind of the ideal situation where everyone's producing enough that you don't have one guy who's, who's head and shoulders above the rest? Well, you want everybody producing at a high level, which I think we uh, are. I think we also, uh, uh, and, I, and, I, and I think our receivers uh, are still emerging. You know, I, I, I don't think that, uh, um, <clears throat> you know, we're just over the top uh, uh, refined like we can be at some point. You know, I think we got good quality receivers. I think they came a long way this year. I think they got a long ways to go uh, next year, but we do have good distribution and we get a lot of people involved. Have you seen Aesop uh, develop throughout the year? You always kind of talked about him as someone with, with, with great hands, but what else did he, did he show you throughout the season to make himself <clears throat> so productive? Well, he got in better shape, uh, more elusive. He's a guy that uh, once the ball's released, uh, can get to where it's going to land, can judge where it's going to land. Uh, judges the ball probably better than uh, uh, anybody I can think of. And, uh, you know, and he does that kind of naturally, but... Uh, and he became, <coughs> as he got in shape, he became more elusive. I think you, you had said earlier this year that you guys have to order special gloves for him. Is, is, is that the case? Because yeah, because they're so crazy good. big. No, they're, they're outrageously big. And, and um, he said when he started out, he used to wear lineman gloves. You know, but they have, and then he'd have to cut all those pads off of it and things. Because they don't, <coughs> it's uh, very difficult to get receiver gloves, uh, gloves as big as his hands are. And so I think we special order them. Is there any situation where that could be a disadvantage for a receiver? Or no, I don't think so. The bigger, the better. No, the bigger hands, the better. And his aren't just like long, skinny hands. They're big everywhere. You guys played Eastern earlier this year, and they just uh, advanced to the, the national FCS title. You might, I, th I think you, you would call them one of the best teams in the FCS after that game. What did you see in, in, in that kind of led you to believe that, even though the score was kind of lopsided here? Well, it didn't surprise me at all, uh, and it doesn't surprise me, and, <clears throat> and I think they'll win it. Um, uh, I thought that from the beginning in our game, I saw the same stuff. Um, uh, you know, I, uh, I thought they'd have a great chance to win it after we played them. I thought they would for sure. Um, <clears throat> you know, of course, it's a tough path, and uh, they've, uh, they've done a great job over there, and, uh, and uh, you know, I hope they, hope they win the national championship. What is it that makes them uh, kind of distinguishes them? Is it their skilled players, their their balance, their defense, their their coaching, kind of all of the above? Well, I, I, the, one they're in a great conference, and then the other thing is, is they um, <clears throat> they haven't had uh, you know they've been very steady over there. They you know have their schemes or packages, and they um, do what they do. And then also, I think they've uh, done a good job capitalizing on some other programs in the conference that are down. Uh, and out recruited a lot of those places as well as uh, you know kept uh, their situation stoked at a high level you know while uh, others have struggled and had their problems and I think uh, in the meantime they've elevated their level of players as a result. 
Do you think looking back, you're not back <coughs> on the schedule, people maybe didn't give it enough credit seeing as Wyoming was 6-6, six and six, and obviously Eastern now is, is one of the best FCS teams. Nah, I don't pay much attention to it. I know ours is, <coughs> our non-conference schedule is, uh, is, uh, is better than most teams, no question, and then our conference schedule is better too. So, yeah, I think, uh, <coughs> yeah, I mean, we've got uh, Nash, uh, a potential national champion and a bowl team and another uh, uh, team that was uh, really good when we played them.